All right, well, I got something a little bit different going on today. Over the previous years, I've shown you a moderately good scanner, and I've also shown you a cheap scanner that you could buy for your vehicle. And today, I went out and I purchased a high-end scanner. So let's have a look at this thing, and we're going to see um, how it's going to compare to the cheap ones. But this video is just going to be a first look and kind of play around with and see what happens from there. So what I picked up was the Macro Tools Max Me diagnostic tablet and this was um, just under a thousand dollars Canadian money in the United States I'm not sure how much it is but obviously I got it off the Matco truck and usually you know scanners like this from like Snap-on or Mac can range anywhere from like two thousand dollars and up and this one here like I said was a thousand dollars and has a subscription service that you could pay monthly for. Out of the package this is how it looks it's actually a fair size my hands are dirty but I'm a mechanic so it's allowed you got, I just put in the OBD port on the side here. I think it's Bluetooth or wireless. I just kind of see if it'd snap in. That'd plug in to your connectors and also comes with another cable. This is your charging device. Little cap. This is supposed to be your little stylus pen. An HDMI cord. But, um, got some buttons on the side there. Plus, numerous attachments on top. So let's power it up. All right, we're just in the boot up stage. I gotta register and all that before I can even do anything with it. Just connected to the internet and we're just gonna go over, see if there's any updates to be had. More updating and more updating. So basically, a couple things I'm not too sure of right now is that um, I got some subscriptions added. So let's run the program. So I purchased the BMW, the Chrysler, and the Ford, which is $20 each month. But the thing that really kind of makes me wonder, okay, if you click the BMW, it says version V4800. It says BMW V4800 all systems. This software can diagnose the electrical control system of BMW, include engine, chassis, body, and other parts. The operation is the same as the original scan tool. So what does that mean? Is that means I paid twenty dollars for it and for nothing because the original scan tool could just read the same that is the same for Chrysler it says the exact same thing however the Ford says this program can test different Ford models it currently includes PCM ABS 4WAL, RCM, EATC, ECS, IABM, whatever, all this other kind of shit that says below. So basically, let's uh, take this outside and hook it up to my Ford truck and see what happens. Well, this is my first time using this thing, so let's plug the little dongle into the port right there. Then we'll boot up the machine. Okay, it looks like we got update again. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Try this again. Does two F one fifty. Five point four engine three valve fuel type gasoline transmission automatic fifth state mission even gives me my serial number vehicle code system ID. Remember I said my parking aid module didn't work and this thing can actually read it. What does it say? Let's read what it says because my parking sensors haven't worked for a long time. It's really pissing me off. Oh, all by looks of this, looks like they're all fucking faulting out motherfuckers. Let's uh, clear those faults, see what happens. It says my instrument cluster has two faults. Let's see what it says in there. Making all my gauges go all funky. It says left front temperature damper motor and battery voltage low. Let's just clear those. We'll start this thing up. It says my battery's low. On the truck, that is. I can even check my brake fluid. Do the computer positive voltage. 14.3 volts 
These are all different, um, different things you can test with the machine. Fuel level 62%. There's a lot of shit on here, and I wish I could get rid of the glare. But for example, the RPMs, I can adjust it to the program. And like, there's so many different. Uh, so many different features in this thing that you can go through and just explore and piss around with. With the software, there's just endless amounts of data you can like view let's go look at the variable cam timing um, see what else can we throw on there like there's so much shit let's go generator monitor voltage desired let's also go at uh, fuel tank pressure let's just go random shit Yeah, so it tells you the barometric pressure is 12.4, camshaft position sensor status, no fault, uh, evaporator emission vapor manager valve 0.33, fuel tank pressure 0 0.06 psi, generator monitor 28%, generator voltage desired 14.2, variable cam timing status, no fault, which is good because you don't want to be dealing with that in these trucks. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, there's the amount of features that you can just go through is just, it's insane. Like, I haven't even cracked the surface yet and really had a look around. I'm just checking my anti lock brakes and shit, see if there's any codes. No, there's no codes, so. It's kind of special functions. ABS service bleed, I guess, programmable module installation. Yeah, because I had a lot of people ask me about uh, bleeding the ABS, so that uh, must be what you gotta do here. But I don't want to be doing that right now. May save that for later on. I know this is kind of dog shit, I kind of want it. The screen not to glare so bad either, but if you want to use just the regular scanner features, so let's just connect right now. So you want to go into read um, different things with the regular scanner. This is all you can really read. So you can't, you, there's still a lot you can check, but it's not as much as actually buying the software to load up and go through. So let's have a look at, uh, It's just punching a bunch of things. Fuel status, fuel two status, um, fuel trims, O2 sensors. It's telling me my cool temperature is 190. You know, my long-term fuel values, my oxygen sensor outputs, fuel system status is closed loop, which it should be. This is just basically a first look at it. Um, the scanner is an Android base, so you can download apps and everything else to it. Um, extra modules outside of the uh, program itself. So I'm going to leave the video at that. I'm going to get more in depth with it with the Jeep and the BMW, but if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.